Hey guys, welcome to page 15 and 16, average. Okay, repeat that after me, average. Raise your hand if you remember average. I can't see your hand, so I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, average in Spanish is promedio, promedio, okay? What it's doing is, look, you have these numbers right here, 97, 83, 90. You could say those are your notas, right? Oh, on my math test, I got a 97, then I got an 83, then I got a 90. What's your average? Like, what are you más o menos all the time going to get? Somewhere around what number? Like, if you're like, oh, well, what do you think I'm gonna get on the next math test? Well, probably somewhere close to your average, okay? The one that's close to all the numbers. So, what's really cool is if you look at your book, make sure you have your book open. Look what it says in the rule right here. It says to find the average of several numbers, divide the sum by the number of add-ins. What in the world is that talking about? Don't worry about that. Look, I want you to see this part. The average number is not smaller than the least number, nor greater than the greatest number. So it's right here. It's not gonna be right here in these three numbers. The average is not gonna be smaller than 83, which is the, the least number, the smallest number and not bigger than 97. It cannot be ever. That's the rule with average. It's not smaller than the smallest number or bigger than the biggest number. And that's how you can know if, you're, if your answer has sentido. Okay, Ms. Jessica, but how do we do average? There's two pasos to average. Hold up your fingers. Two steps to average. Hold up your fingers. Tell me what they are. Add, divide. Add, divide. Add, divide, add, divide. I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. Here we go. Add these numbers together. Seven plus three is 10. One plus nine is 10. 10 plus eight, 18. 18 plus nine is 27. What was the second pasto? Divide. You are gonna divide this by what? Three. Why three, Michelle? Because look, one, two, three. There are three numbers. You add up the numbers and then you divide by the, um, by the number of numbers you have. One, two, three, okay? So let's divide it, here we go. Two divided by three, cannot do, so 27 divided by three is nine. Put your nine above the seven, because you're doing 27 divided by three. Multiplying is 27, subtract 27 minus 27 is zero, compare zero is less than three, bring down. Zero. Zero divided by three is zero, okay? You have to put a zero there because you have to finish out the problem. Zero times three is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Compare, that's good, that's your answer, 90. So if you're thinking, what do you think I'm gonna get on the next test? It's probably gonna be close to a 90, your average. Let's do a few more. Okay, I'm gonna do letter E with you because I wanna make sure that you know how to write all your money the right way to sum, okay? So you see that they give it to you in the horizontal way. You need to make sure that all your puntos line up. Every time you do money, you guys, every time you do money, make sure your puntos line up, okay? Then we're gonna add it, but I'm gonna let you divide it by yourself. Here we go, four plus one is five, five plus five is 10, 10 plus one is 11, 11 plus four is 15. 1, 8 is 9, 9, 2 is 11, 11, 2 is 18, 11 and 7 is 18, 18 plus 4 is 22, 2 and 7 is 9, 9 and 3 is 12, 12 and 5 is 17, 17 and 6 is 23, 23 plus 7 is 30, okay, then you're going to divide. $30.25, you put your dollar sign and your punto, and you're going to divide by what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. Ooh, I am going to help you with this one because I just realized it's a little bit harder than it looks. Here we go. 3 divided by 5 is not possible, so 30 divided by 5 is what? 6. 6 times 5 is 3. 30 minus 0. Compare, zero is less than five, yes it is. Bring down the two, uh oh. Two divided by five, is that possible? No, but you cannot skip it this time guys because it's not the one in front. 
see I have to put a zero here, okay? Zero times five is zero. Two minus zero is two. Compare, is two less than five? Yes, it is. Bring down your five. Now you're good to go. 25 divided by five is five. Five times five is 25. 25 minus 25 is zero. Zero is less than five, and there's your answer. Six dollars and five cents. Okay? Turn over to page 16. We got some cool thing I'm gonna show you. Okay guys, did you know that not every division has to take this long procedimiento, this long process? That's why we have something called on page 16, short division. Okay, short division. I'm gonna show you how to do something short without taking up all this room. So here we go. Four divided by six, not possible, so 43 divided by six. 43 divided by six is very close with a what? Six times six is 36, six, six times seven is 42. So the seven's gonna go right here. Okay guys, follow the normal steps of division, nothing changes there. Seven times six is 42. Don't write it, it's 42. You know that 42 goes over here. So 43 minus 42 is what? One, and you're gonna put that one in front of the zero and make that 10, okay? 10 divided by six, you can put one six into that. Because one times six is six. Imagine the six under the 10, what's 10 minus six? Four, so put your four right here, okay? 47, 47 divided by six? Hmm, six times seven again is 42. So seven is gonna be your answer there. Seven times six is 42. Imagine your 42 under the 47. What's 47 minus 42? Five, and your remainder is five. Hmm, that's all you have to do. You're like, it's just got uh-uh, uh-uh. I don't understand what you're saying. That's okay, let me do another one with you. Then you're gonna do C by yourself and then Stop the video, do it by yourself, and then I'm gonna check it with you. Okay, here we go, look at this one. Two divided by five is not possible, so do 23 divided by five. 23 divided by five is gonna be four. Four times five is 20. 23 minus 20? Three, so you're three right here. 33 divided by five? Six. Six times five is 30. 33 minus 30? Three. 31, 31 divided by five is six again. Six times five is 30. 31 minus 30, remainder one. Okay, guys, if you don't understand that, back up the video and watch this part. Then do letter C, okay? Everybody right now, stop the video. If you need to watch it again, watch it again. If not, stop the video and do letter C. When you come back, I'm going to do C with you to make sure you got it right. Okay, here we go, letter C. 87, oh, eight divided by six, sorry. Eight divided by six, one time, okay? One times six is six. Eight minus six, two. Put the two in front of the seven. 27, 27 divided by six, four. Four times six is 24. 27 minus 24? Three, put the three in front of the zero. 30 divided by six, five. Five times six is 30. 30 minus 30 is zero, so nothing goes in front of this nine. Nine divided by six? One. One times six, three. One times six, six. Nine minus six? Three, remainder three. Okay, you guys, call me if you need any more help. No problem. Look at example, look at, pro I can't speak. Look at number four, word problem number four, letter A. For the past six months, the Aaron's electric bills were $124.20, $103.07, $105.40, $119.07, and $120.48. What was the average of their electric bills? 
Mm -mm, not doing this one for you because I already taught you do, um, average. Two steps, what are they? Add and divide. I'm not gonna tell you anything else. Okay, look at letter B. Taylor Kennel bought an average of 87 bags of dog food each week for the past seven weeks. 87 bags of dog food each week for the past seven weeks. Each past 10 weeks, pardon. Each bag cost $12.79. How much did the kennel spend on dog food during the past 10 weeks? Okay, here we go. What do you think, guys? You have 87 bags every week, 10 weeks. Every bag costs $12.79. Okay, here we go. Eighty-seven bags for ten weeks. So what do you have to do first? Multiply that, right? To see how many bags you had in all. Eighty-seven times ten. Eight hundred and seventy. Because you bring the zero down here and do one times eighty-seven. Eight hundred and seventy. Eight hundred and seventy. Oh, this is gonna be so ugly. <laughs> times twelve dollars and seventy-nine cents because it's how much for each. It's it's every bag costs that. So here we go. $12.79 times 87, 870. Put the zero here, okay guys? Put the zero here, and let's multiply. Here we go. Seven times nine, 63. Seven times seven, 49 plus six, 54. Seven times two, 14 plus five, 19. Seven times one plus one, eight. Okay, here we go. New number right here, eight times nine. 72. Eight times seven, 56 plus seven, 63. Eight times two, 16, 16 plus six, 22. 8 times 1, 8, plus 2, 10. 0, 3, 6, 12, 11, 1, 1. 1, 2 point. 11,126 dollars and 30 cents. Okay, like I said, ugly, so let's go, let's have fun, here we go. 0, put your 0 here. 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 7 is 49 plus 6 is 55. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8. Okay, put your next one right here. You're ignoring the 0. Put your next one right here. 8 times 9 is 72. 7 times 8 times 7 is 56 plus 7 is 63. 8 times 2 is 16, 16 plus 6 is 22. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 2 is 10. 0, 3, 5 plus 2 is 7, 9 plus 3 is 12, 8 plus 1 plus 2 is 11, 1, 1. 1, 2 point because it is money and 1, 2, 3 comma, $11,127.30. Wow, you guys, that was really, really long. But that's it that you need to do with me. The rest is up to you. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Love you.